Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Another type of resource that you can create for use within your projects is the material resource. In the previous lesson on creating work resources, note that you had to select the work option from the type dropdown for any work resources such as people, places, or equipment that you created. Material resources are different from work resources in that the material resources represent material resources that are used or consumed by the various tasks within a project. For example, if you had paint walls as a task within a project, it would make sense for you to create a work resource, for example, painter, and a material resource, for example, paint, that you could create in order to track the usage of that material within your project file. Also note that, unlike work resources, there are often many tasks that do not require material resources within a project file. However, the ability to track that type of information is available for users who do need to track material use and often their associated costs within their project files. To create material resources within a project file, display the desired project file and then ensure that you're viewing the data within the resource sheet view. Next, enter the desired material resource information into the next blank row available. Be sure to select Material from the Type dropdown to indicate that this resource is a material resource. If you are using the Resource Information dialog box to enter your resources, then you select the Type on the General tab. Also, if using the dialog box, be sure to click the OK button to save your data entry once you are finished in order to add the resource into the Resource Sheet view. In a later section within this chapter, we will examine setting costs for these resources. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.